What do you want to know about John? Um, <clears throat> almost anything you would want to share, I would want to know. I considered him my best friend. Mm -hmm. I met him now, he was a Libra, and you're an Aquarius, two air signs. <clears throat> we met in 72. I knew him until time ran out. I loved him dearly. I've known Yoko since 1972. Met Sean Ono Lennon when he was three days old in the Dakota. He's now in his 30s. I think about John. Um, he was born in 1940. We, he would have been 70 years old. He passed 30 years ago to an entire generation of kids on the internet. I don't know if they could even name all four Beatles. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if they could even absorb what it was like um, on December 8th, 1980, when John fell. I just can't link into it. Um, I loved him. Um, I thought of him as a brother. We spent hundreds and hundreds of hours in conversation at my house, at the Dakota where he lived and died. We corresponded constantly. He was an inspiration. I recognized his flaws. More significantly, he recognized mine and was not shy to identify them. Uh, he was um, sometimes caustic and severe and cynical, but more often than not, he was an inspiration. Marianne, I spent years with John Lennon and even more time with Bob Dylan. Those were the bookends of my experience. Who could ask for more in terms of the inspiration for my generation? Do you feel that it was John Lennon's destiny to go so at such a young age? I wouldn't pretend to designate the destination of a soul and uh, readily confess to having no answer to that question. I just miss the fact that he is not here now. Do you have a sense of where he went? At the end of John's life, he did not profess any belief in any religious, <clears throat> spiritual, or theological experience. In fact, uh, he uh, composed and sung a song called God. God is a concept by which we measure our pain. And then he goes down a litany of all the uh, deities he does not believe in. And of course, and imagine, and no religion too. Yeah. Kind of Marxist about religion, I think, because he was really hip to the evils perpetrated by organized religion. And of course, that was the point. And of course, we know that... He was only 40, so who knows, kind of like with JFK, you don't know where they would have gone. When I first heard that song, and he asked me about my opinions, and I said, well, you know, I listened to it, and I, you know, I love the presentation, the performance, blah, blah, blah. However, if I was to uh, write the song, and it was coming from you, I would say, I believe in Buddha, I believe in Krishna. I Instead believe. of I don't believe. Yes. And, he, you know, he kind of, got a little puffy about that. He said, okay, well, when you write your song, you can do it your way. Out. Uh, the, well, it's John. And he had that edge. He always busted yeah, me on what he perceived as being Elliot, you know, mm -hmm. stepping into the bounds of time. But God never took dictation from John Lennon. That's right. If there is a God, he's, he's there regardless of your opinion about it, if there is one. And I still, you know, wonder about, uh, 
we all do. You know, we wonder, I'm not, and I'm not comparing John to Jesus or Martin Luther King Jr. I compare it to Martin Luther King Jr. You do? Absolutely, I do. It's hmm. interesting. <clears throat> When I look to people who left this world in what I perceived was too short a period of time, yeah. uh, it, it's not for me to choose. Yeah, Bobby Kennedy was 42. Bobby was 42. And what was JFK, 46? You don't even realize how young it is, so you're older. <laughs> you just... Do you have to rub that in? <gasps> well, I was speaking about myself. Us. Well. I don't, you know, you have um, a different uh, vibe about death than I do. You're concerned about the way you pass as opposed to when it comes. Um, well, certainly we all don't want to be hit by a car on the road, of course, or die at the hands of another, obviously. But, no, um, if my life was to end tomorrow, I would feel, to quote an old song, I had so much left to do and so little time to fail. I would have felt that I sold myself out in terms of my own inertia. I have to use that as a model to motivate me to accelerate. I don't want to leave it hanging in the air. I, 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 uh, I don't want to die. I just feel like it's a revolving door, and anything we don't do here, we do there. Yeah, there's a lot to do here <laughs> before we get there. Oh, I'm not trying to rush it. Please don't get me wrong. I, I absolutely agree with that. I just, I have such a sense of a continuum. Me too. Me too. Yeah, that's all. But each continuum yeah. reaches a sense of completion. Yeah. No, I'm with you. The new, the, there are new points on the circle that says stop sign. Yeah. yeah. So you just got to keep on jamming. Yeah. Thank you. To John. And to you. Thank you. And to you, Ellie. God bless you. Mary. Thank you. God bless you, too. The Thank world you. is a better place that you're in. It. You know That's that. So you good know that. To say. Thank you. And the, look, there, there are millions of others who could sit in this seat, look in your eyes and say the same thing. And I know you. when you're involved in book deadlines and all the stuff you're involved in, you don't think about, maybe you don't think about th that big picture, but gosh, to have touched the numbers of people you've touched in the most profound ways. Thank you. Man, oh man, oh man. Thank you, that's very sweet of you. And um, I, I feel your goodwill and I feel your um, wisdom and perspicacity. And I know you know that. I know you know that I do. And I really listen. Even like when you were talking at dinner. I, I When I said earlier that I, I learned to really listen to people who know things. So I'm very grateful to have met you. And I remember, like I said, I remember the time you called me. I remember where I was, where I was, where I was living in an apartment on Haywood. Isn't that odd? I remember that. When I first called you. Mm-hmm. It would have been before my first book came out. So it was before 1992. I saw you on TV, mm -hmm. on public access. Mm -hmm. And I knew who you were. You did? Mm -hmm. And you still took the call. I knew who you were from the John and Yoko thing. You were so nice to have um, dropped by tonight. And oh, thank you. I'm glad we did this. I, I know that it was meaningful. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Ellie.